you're watching Beyond Markets, welcome. I am Christy Cole. On the show today, we'll take a look at how blockchain technology is changing the way organizations and government institutions operate. As always, you can join the conversation with the hashtag Beyond Markets and follow my Twitter handle at Christy Cole P. Global provider of enterprise cloud computing, Oracle, is rendering its blockchain cloud services to the Nigeria Custom Services to enhance its operations. Adebayo Sani, Country Managing Director at Oracle Nigeria, joined CNBC Africa's Esther Awuni to discuss how blockchain technology is changing the way organizations operate. We're looking at how blockchain technology is changing the way some uh, organizations do business and not just organizations, even government agencies, as we're going to discuss today. We're talking about uh, just one of the things we discussed today, how blockchain could help uh, an agency, a government agency like the Nigeria Customs Service, and you're working, Oracle, working with them to help them uh, attend to those needs where blockchain can make a big difference, especially perhaps in operational efficiency. So tell us about how, what, is, what it is that you're offering to the Customs Service. Okay, and, and this is interesting, and you know, the, when you look at Customs as, as, an, as a government entity, um, we had the opportunity through its um, modernization plan um, to speak to them about how Oracle can provide them services and in inviting the Assistant Controller General of Customs to actually come into Oracle Open World, which brings in about 66,000 customers, we had the opportunity to showcase what Oracle can do in terms of its blockchain services. Mm -hmm. And that started and incubated the whole strategy around um, working with customs um, to drive efficiency and truly help them automate their business process. Today, the exercise trade okay. um, is all done manually. There are files and files and papers. I can imagine. And what this does is, um, you know, the bureaucracy, the delay in getting approvals for permits, in being able to renew, this comes in days and weeks rather than what they can easily do if it's automated in minutes. And I think that's, um, so what Oracle is providing and what we just recently completed a proof of concept for okay. customs um, was to truly um, build an exercise trade um, management software that is sitting on Oracle's um, um, blockchain cloud infrastructure that is actually truly helping them to drive that business process. And you know, the advantage we easily get out of that in customs trying to just modernize, and this is what really makes it exciting. In customs trying to just modernize, They've been able to move their revenue from a 70 billion naira a month to over 100 billion. We expect that by the time we fully implemented this um, um, blockchain cloud service, um, they would have at least an increase of about 50 percent in terms of revenue. 50 percent. Absolutely. And this is what we emphasize and this is the advantage um, that we actually see with blockchain. My guess is um, we're, we're building, blockchain is almost building an operating system for the planet because it mm. cuts across multiple different industries that can absolutely benefit from what you call revenue assurance while driving um, true operational efficiency as well as um, full transparency. And this is really the foundation and the bedrock of blockchain. Well, speaking about assurance, uh, I imagine that they probably have some concerns, especially around the issue of trust and perhaps also security. How secure is the system? Who is going to run it? If you leave, are you, just, are you leaving permanently? What, how do we get support? And I think this is really the foundation of um, what blockchain is about. Blockchain is about transparency, it's about trust, it's about security. Um, and now, as far as um, you know, customs are concerned, or any other customer that we, we work with, um, the whole idea is they are connecting and working with Oracle's enterprise grade um, that is focused on security, that is scalable, and you have enough resources to be able to support it. And that's what Oracle has drive, driven for so many years in, um, in Nigeria and Africa. And that's what we are providing to, to Nigerian Customs um, Service to our partner. Now we're seeing, beginning to see how blockchain can help not just government agencies, even regular corporates, uh, even uh, small SMEs, uh, helping them to better uh, streamline their process, operational processes. But we've, so, there's also the issue of cost and how um, how deployable it is around the fact that um, some SMEs or some companies feel like they may not be able to afford it in the first place and they feel like, okay, if, we, if we're able to deploy it, 
what does that mean for us in terms of costs? Can we directly link it to our bottom line? You've given the example of the cost on 50%, that is significant. But in terms of how we're deploying it here in Nigeria, uh, in the corporate world, would you say that we're gaining traction? No, oh, we are. Um, as I mentioned to you, the expectation of um, blockchain cloud service, it's going to take the, the world by, by storm. It is. Every single industry um, is looking at some form of one blockchain solution or the other. Um, but the important part is it filters down into every single sector, whether it's the vertical or whether it's the industry. Take, for example, the financial services sector. Um, there's uh, between the financial service sector, the banks and insurance companies, there's the expectation through regulation that you must know your customer. Now, this has been this is a um, a simple task that but requires a lot of investment and resources just to do this. And every single bank is doing this in silo. Now, can you imagine if we can deploy a blockchain service that is just simply based on um, peer validation of a database, and that moves away the need to always having to do this on your own. Rather, you have a trusted database where every single bank can go into and say, Esther, who is Esther, and um, do I have all the details, and, do I, and can we verify this? It becomes a single, tr single source of trust. So rather than each bank having to replicate this, this can easily be done through blockchain. Um, are they credit. doing that? Is that happening already? That is, services? but this is the conversation we're having today. And this is where we believe that quite a number of customers that Oracle is working with globally, this is the direction in which they're going. Because what it also does is that it deals with the, sometimes the intermediary, because sometimes the intermediary creates the bottleneck, mm -hmm. but you move away from that and you also move away from wasting resources because it's cost effective, it removes human error. And the advantage when you think about an Oracle um, autonomous blockchain um, s cloud service that we're talking about, it's, it uses AI, that's artificial mm -hmm. intelligence, the machine learning, to self-secure itself, to self-repair itself, to self-patch. So what that means invariably is that as it's gathering this data, it's improving its knowledge in terms of how do I self-secure, how do I self-manage. Now you ask the question in terms of cost when you look at SMEs, the reality is that once you're able to digitalize the process um, and the business process is improved and you're looking, it creates new revenue streams. It creates additional revenue streams because you're driving operational efficiency, but at the same time you're removing risk. All the investment that you should be putting into trying to be risk-free, you're turning that, that revenue into your profit. And that's really what you typically get from a, from a blockchain service. So across multiple sectors, you name that sector. Public, private. Public, you know, private, uh, whether it's election, whether it's um, um, academic certificate from a university perspective where the Nigerian Union um, University Commission can work with the universities to make sure that the certificate that comes out, um, it's also, there's also some form of um, transparency and it becomes the single source of truth in terms of, so anyone in Nigeria that graduates from any university, for example, would have where, and everybody uh, has access to it. That's the beauty of blockchain, because it's decentralized, it's distributed, mm -hmm. and no single entity has control over it. And every time a so change no, is no made. No someone can come and build a, a back channel. Absolutely. And, you know, back channel, create a back channel, and then that you know, leading to some kind of fraud. Or Absolutely. That's a number one thing. Or something. Takes away the fraud. Because once there's any change, every single member in that, in that um, sector gets access to it. And every time it gets changed. So it means that it's transparent to everyone. Think about the transfers that we do. And you do a transfer in the in previous life, it used to be like a week. Now, it's a few days. The reality is that it can, and it's gone in into minutes, but even that, you still have the intermediary. True smart contracts using the blockchain service you can establish trust between two parties and you can transfer money without necessarily the intermediary. So we're seeing the use cases for blockchain explode beyond what we can imagine. In fact, my guess, and we actually had the Harvard Business Review, um, someone from there actually say that in the next decade, blockchain is what is the technology that is going to transform far ahead of even AI 
and, uh, and even when you think about cloud or big data itself, because it becomes the operating platform for everyone to work. Because the biggest challenge we face as human today is trust, transparency. How do I mitigate my risk while dealing business globally? But is it absolutely foolproof? I mean, like, I mean, it's a mesh. At the end of the day, it's, I mean, it's, it's technology. It's even if it's AI, and even if it has the ability to maybe reinvent itself or you know check for food or whatever, it's it's not. It's a completely foolproof. But, but I think the the parity, <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm I'm just thinking when you're going to sell this to people, and because for some people it might sound too good to be true. But it is what it is. But I'm, I'm thinking that questions like that will come up. Okay, is it foolproof? What what happen, What is that? What what is the chance or the margin of something just going wrong? And what is what is it going to be if something does go wrong? But you know the exciting part of it, and that's a great question. But the exciting part of it is, as we move and we leverage technology to drive efficiency, mm -hmm. and we move into autonomous, which Oracle um, is the only one that is operating in terms of using machine learning. The reality is that the more we m remove the human error, the higher we increase the chances of making it, um, making it foolproof. Are we fully there yet? Not totally. But today, from an Oracle blockchain cloud service, we can guarantee an SLA of 99.95. So you still have that 0.05% error. Oh, okay. But okay. from where we're coming from to where we are today, and the fact that it's using machine learning to improve itself, it can only get better. How much of a game changer can it be if the federal government comes and says, okay, you know what, let's de we're going to deploy it into the federal civil service, into our processes. Well, how much of a game changer would that be? It would absolutely and totally change this country. Would it save the government as in, in terms of costs, leakages? I think that's the number one advantage because there are three things you want to think about if you're looking at um, blockchain um, service for especially the government entity. Number one, it drives um, business acceleration. So it means that you can increase your revenue. It drives innovation. We, the government itself can start to look at new streams of revenue. And number three, it reduces cost significantly. These are three key areas that, but the important part is that there has to be sincerity of purpose. There's no blockchain deployment without the commitment to want to drive transparency and trust. That was Adebayo Sonny, Country Managing Director at Oracle Nigeria.